Footage released on October 19 shows a Russian Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jet carrying what appear to be two KH-59 cruise missiles mounted externally. This raises questions about how the Su-57 is being employed, given that these jets are designed with reduced radar cross-sections RCS, to enhance stealth. The external mounting of missiles, as seen in the footage, significantly increases the jet's radar visibility, making it more detectable, similar to fourth-generation non-stealth aircraft like the Su-30 or Su-35. However, even without full stealth capabilities, the Su-57 remains highly capable due to its advanced sensors, avionics, and superior flight performance. A likely reason for carrying the KH-59 externally is that the Russian Air Force aims to maximize combat sorties with the new jets. This increases operational experience for a broader range of personnel, as the number of Su-57s in service continues to grow rapidly. Deliveries hit 12 aircraft in 2023, and that number is expected to reach 20 by the end of this year. Missiles suited for the Su-57's internal bays, like the KH-59 Mk-2, are considerably more expensive than older, larger diameter cruise missiles, and offer limited advantages in the current Ukrainian theater where threats to the aircraft are relatively low. With Ukraine's air power severely diminished and its air defenses significantly eroded, deploying older and cheaper KH-59s allows Su-57 units to maintain a high operational tempo at a much lower cost to the Air Force. This also conserves the more advanced KH-59 Mk-2 missiles for potential conflicts with more formidable adversaries, such as NATO members. The rapid expansion of the Su-57 fleet makes preserving these missiles even more critical. Su-57s have been deployed in areas with concentrated Ukrainian air defenses in the past. Notably, in early October, one was used to shoot down a Russian S-70 unmanned prototype that appeared headed for a crash in Ukrainian or NATO-controlled territory. However, it's believed most operations have taken place at ranges that don't expose the jets to significant risk, meaning the compromise to their stealth capabilities is far from a critical issue. Under such circumstances, using cheaper external missiles remains a cost-effective way to employ the Su-57 in combat. Given that Russia has extensively experimented with its weapons systems in new ways during the Ukraine conflict, it's also possible the Su-57 seen in the footage is testing an expanded missile loadout. This configuration could involve using external missiles against less defended targets before jettisoning the pylons to switch into full stealth mode. The Su-57, despite being marketed as a fifth-generation stealth fighter, is often compared unfavorably to the stealth characteristics of the F-22, F-35, and J-20. While the Su-57 incorporates some radar-evading features, its radar cross-section RCS, is considerably larger than that of its American and Chinese counterparts, making it less stealthy. The F-22 Raptor, for instance, is considered the benchmark for stealth aircraft, with an estimated RCS of just 0.0001 square meters, roughly the size of a metal marble. This extremely low RCS allows it to evade most radar systems, even when flying relatively close to them. The F-22's design is meticulously focused on stealth, with internal weapons bays, carefully sculpted airframe surfaces, and radar-absorbing materials that minimize its radar signature. The F-35 Lightning II, while slightly larger than the F-22, still maintains a very low RCS, estimated at 0.001 to 0.005 square meters, which is roughly the size of a small bird or insect. The F-35's stealth features are designed to work across a variety of spectrums, including radar, infrared, and electronic emissions, making it highly survivable in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions.
Its all-aspect stealth allows it to operate effectively in modern, networked warfare environments, where avoiding detection is critical. China's J-20, although not as thoroughly tested in combat as the F-22 or F-35, reportedly has an RCS in the range of 0.01 to 0.1 square meters, depending on the angle from which it is detected. While not as stealthy as the American fighters, the J-20's design emphasizes frontal radar cross-section reduction, making it difficult to detect head-on. Its internal weapons bays and advanced shaping help lower its detectability, though experts believe its overall stealth profile lags behind the F-22 and F-35. In contrast, the Su-57's RCS is estimated to be around 0.1 to 1 square meter, significantly larger than its American and Chinese counterparts. While it incorporates radar-absorbing materials and some design elements to reduce its radar signature, the Su-57's larger engine nozzles and external weapons mounts, seen in some combat footage, increase its detectability. These features compromise its stealth, particularly when compared to the F-22 and F-35. The Su-57's strength lies more in its supermaneuverability, advanced avionics, and multirole capabilities than in its stealth. Compared to the French Rafale, the Su-57 does hold an edge in stealth, but not by a wide margin. The Rafale is not designed as a stealth aircraft and has an estimated RCS of 1 square meter. It incorporates some radar-absorbing materials and aerodynamic shaping to reduce its visibility, but its radar cross-section remains closer to that of fourth-generation fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon. The Rafale focuses on agility, sensor fusion, and multirole capabilities, with stealth playing a secondary role. Overall, the Su-57's RCS is larger than that of the F-22, F-35, and J-20, placing it at a disadvantage in terms of stealth. While it surpasses older and non-stealthy platforms like the Rafale, its radar cross-section makes it more vulnerable to detection compared to its American and Chinese peers.